my Brussels sprout casserole, which is comforting and decadent, and the whole thing gets covered in crispy, salty onions. Plus, it's a snack to make. I just throw everything into a pot and bake. So I've got this pot heating over medium heat. I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. I've got my two pounds of Brussels sprouts here that are quartered. And for me, Brussels sprouts have always been the perfect Thanksgiving vegetable, not the green beans. Brussels sprouts are in season in Thanksgiving, so it just makes sense. I'll dump these right in. They're already starting to crackle and pop. And I'll stir them around and just let them get some color all over the outside. These are looking glossy and golden and gorgeous. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of butter now. There is no shortage of butter on Thanksgiving in our house. I'll let this melt. Okay, this smell is Thanksgiving now. It wasn't just Brussels sprouts, it's Brussels sprouts and butter. I've got some leeks, which I've soaked and rinsed, and these will add some nice sweetness. This is a lot of veggies, but they all cook down. I'll stir these around and let the leeks soak up that butter. I'll add a sprinkle of salt and some pepper. Oh my gosh, it smells so good right now. Thanksgiving perfume, get on it. Okay, while these continue to soften, I'll add some sliced garlic and mm, earthy thyme. There are so many delicious flavors in this dish. Now that my veggies are soft, I'm gonna add three tablespoons of flour. And this is gonna combine with the butter and the oil to create a roux that's gonna thicken up my liquids and it's gonna make this so creamy. I'm gonna stir this around and let it cook for about a minute so that that flour flavor can cook off. I'll add two cups of low sodium chicken stock and let everything thicken up and get cozy. All right, call me crazy, but I feel like the true MVP of Thanksgiving is heavy cream. It makes the vegetables better, you put it on the pumpkin pie, it's everywhere. I'm stirring an entire cup of heavy cream into this thing. And I've brought it to room temperature just so that it cooks evenly. It was looking great already, now it's looking great plus. There's so much flavor in my hands right now. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. It's been grated. That just adds that salty umaminess. A couple of teaspoons of Dijon mustard will add that zippiness that makes Brussels sprouts sing. And lastly, some lemon zest. Let me stir this all together. Oh, that cream is really thickened up. This is so decadent. And now for the best part, the crispy fried onions. And I'm not gonna hold back here. I want a thick layer of crunchiness on top. I'll spread these out. This is beautiful. It's gonna get even more beautiful in the oven though. I'm gonna bake it at 400 degrees for 20 minutes until it's golden and bubbly around the edges. I'm gonna need my eating pants for this one. These Brussels sprouts are a good time, if I do say so myself. I'm always up for a good time. <laughs>